Well, I am about to meet Robert Jungman, I believe. Uh, I'm feeling tired, I had a long day. So hopefully I can pep up a little bit and nervous again. Well, I took a week-long class to improve my Spanish skills because I teach in Spanish all day. So I've been in Tahoe since Monday and I came back today. We had classes from 8 to 3. 45 every day. I requested something lively, energetic, something that has a lot of uh, attitude and energy, I think that's that's part of the, the wow factor for the audience and part of just what makes it fun, I think. Uh, when you're really interacting with, with the other dance partner and something that has a lot of energy, a lot of movement, that's what makes dancing fun for me. For 10 months, my husband and I have been cycle touring around the US and we cycled over 5,000 miles and went through, I think, about eight different states and up into Canada, British Columbia, Alberta, and then also down to, all through the, down through the Pacific Coast and back to Bishop. Okay, my dance background started when I was in elementary school. I used to clog. Clogging is a form of tap, but it's more from the south since I'm from Florida and Georgia. It was more hill toe, hill toe, and we would put on little shows inside, uh, inside the local mall. <laughs> and then we went into middle school where it was break dancing and disco. It's kind of fun, just a mix of both. And then, of course, my dad worked a lot, so when he worked a lot, we. Uh, my mom always wanted a dance partner, so we would go and take classes in shag and so forth. I've lived in Mammoth since the end of 2008. What brought me here was the year before is when my mom passed. Prior to that, um, I saw a lot of amazing things when it came to 
her recovery and how well the hospital and the ICU helped her where I got to spend an, an extra year with her when she was pretty much done. So most of it was prayer and um, I was very thankful and kind of slowed me down when it came to working six days a week, you know, 12 hour days in direct cells. That's all I did was just run. And then I came out to the mountains and um, changed my life. I love it here. So we came together about, uh, let's see, the end of August, and usually I have about three months to uh, choreograph and start the dance and practice, and uh, we kind of had a little more than five weeks. So this has been, uh, we had a lot of catching up to do, and this has been really uh, fun, um, exhilarating, and uh, I think we're going to really nail it, and I just think they're great. and. Not only are they eager, but they're so funny and so fun to work with. I know since we've grown, we ache for those memories. Honestly, nothing's even compared to you next to me, next to me. Okay, so we are about three weeks out, and this is getting really exciting. I am so proud of Ingrid and Rob. So, Team Gender Bender, yeah, we're gonna do really well. To you next to me, next to me. If time is money, then I'll spend it all. I will buy you flowers with the minutes we are. Cameras. <laughs> okay. We've been practicing hard. It's going to be a great show. If I haven't met you yet, I look forward to seeing you at the show. I want all my friends and those I haven't met at the gala October 11th at 5 30 p.m. at Canyon Lodge. 10 more reps. Yes, sir. Join us for Dancing with the Docs 2014. Join us for Dancing, at, for Dancing with the Docs 2014. 2014, October 11th, 5 30 or maybe 7 30. At Canyon Lodge. You can order tickets. Keep working. Oh, sorry. You can order tickets at www.mammothhospital.com. Buy your tickets at mammothhospital.com or call the hospital for more information. All funds raised for this event go, go to Mammoth Hospital's athletic training program.
how I got lassoed in with Dancing with the Docs is that Lori got wind that I had a little dance background and she gave me a call and here I am.